what is going on youtube it is uh your boy with a little bit of a rebrand it is no longer uh dj panda on the mic uh it is uh maki kong did a little rebranding uh just kind of felt i wanted to go into a specific direction uh with my channel kind of being a lot different from how it used to be several years ago when i started it so uh it's Maki Kong now. You can either go with just just Maki because I feel like calling me Kong is kind kind of weird, but you know whatever. I don't really care. <laughs> but anyway, we got with us. Uh, we have a uh, default. What's good, guys? And of course, everyone's favorite Hawaiian gunner. Bro, <laughs> what's up? Oh, uh, but yeah. Uh, today we have um, we have a pretty we have a very very epic topic uh epic being the the pun here of course uh we're talking about fortnite and Hell yeah. i'm honestly i'm not too sh did you just kind of want to discuss like the new season like what exactly were we like specifically what 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 are you feeling right now default because i just kind of heard i just know that you want to talk about fortnite but i well, also know we've like never talked about it like yeah so let, let me start off by saying i've always kind of like had a thing for Fortnite. Like I, I, I always thought Fortnite was kind of like a W game, and like Damn, everyone, and like okay, dude. Like, like I don't know, man. I always fought the people that said like, "Oh, Fortnite cringe. Fortnite sucks." Or like, I don't know. I thought they were kind of corny. Like, yeah, I'll admit Fortnite has had its like moments where it's like not that great, but like for the most part, I think it's one of the best games to play with your friends. Like, I think it's easily like one of the most fun multiplayer games of all time. And it's though, hype, dude. It's like it, it's fun, like bro. Yeah, like, it doesn't get old, in my opinion, bro. Like, like, dude. Some people disagree with that, but like, dude, me and my girlfriend the other day were legit playing it for like hours on end. And let's not forget that Fortnite. Not to mention, like, yeah, there was like it started off with just like builds, but now there's zero builds. So if you don't know how to build. Legit, the game is now for you because now you can just like play it like any other like normal like I wouldn't say FPS because it's technically not an FPS but like you know any other shooter game and not only that but they also added creative modes so you can make like maps that aren't even like shooter stuff you can do tycoons on there like you're playing Roblox like I played one of those that that was pretty fun they've got like racing games like they got everything for you in Fortnite now it's pretty sick um. For real. So, the reason why I did want to talk about Fortnite today, the main reason what, like, kind of provoked me for this was, like, obviously there's the new season, but, like, I got some videos in my recommended the other day talking about, like, Fortnite in the past compared to today. And I kind of wanted to hear, like, your guys' thoughts on this, because, like, to me, it is kind of an interesting subject to talk about, because Fortnite, like, today compared to the past is, like, a really different game. At least I would say so. Like, like for example, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this. What did you guys think about, like, LTMs? Like, the limited time game modes. Like, 50 versus 50. Solid gold. Uh, the explosives one. I forget what that one was called. But, like, those kind of games. The Thanos game mode. Like, what do you guys think of, like... What did you think about, like, the whole thing of limited time game modes? Where, like, you only had, like, a few weeks to play it. And then it went fun, away. that was fun, bro. I liked it, in my honesty. I think it's definitely a good way to, um, I think it's 100% a fantastic way to bring in, like, you know, I think that if you can get the right kind of, kind of pull, like the right kind of intrigue, I think that game modes like that can be something that can get people who aren't a big fan of your game into the game. Um, and I, I think that this is going to sound, um... That's right where I'm trying to think of here because, okay, I'm somebody who is, I have, I did not grow up playing a lot of like shooters and stuff. So I'm not like, I think there's like one COD game that I was really good at and that's Advanced Warfare. So like the, the outcast of COD games is like the only one that I would consider myself genuinely good at. And, and then like, yeah, that's pretty much it. Cause I grew up playing f like fighting games most of the time. So I think that there's a fun place for Fortnite because it's a game that I can genuinely like not take seriously. And I think everyone kind of doesn't take it seriously except for like pro players. Right, right. So there, there's something that's kind of nice about that too because I feel like the less seriously you take a game, the more enjoyable of a time you can have about it. Like, you know, you've got, you've got your people who 
um uh like me play fighting like play like meant like meant to be you know goofy games like smash bros competitively and take them seriously and kind of take the fun out of it but like there's something there's a good place for a game that you just don't take seriously like it's why i can have fun playing mario party because like i know the game's like completely luck based and just bullshit and so like i'm like yeah this is complete bullshit i love it but yeah, it, so it's fun. Like, you know, Fortnite can be fun because, like, I don't take the game seriously. So I can have fun even if I just get, like, Molly mm -hmm. Yeah. Another thing I really love about Fortnite... Sorry, I was I was eating something for a little bit. I know, being a, being a chungus, but... Another thing I really like about Fortnite is, like, the fact that they pretty much have something that appeals to, like, everyone. Like, when it comes to collab skins, like, for me for me and you, Liam, we're big anime fans. They have fucking Naruto, they have My Hero, Dragon Ball, Jujutsu Kaisen, fucking, like, Attack on Titan. Like, they that shit for us. But, like, if you're not, like, a big fan of that, like, they've got fucking sports skins for people that are, like, big sports They got LeBron, bro, they got hella, yeah, like, all the you know, LeBron, soccer players. They, yeah, they got those fucking soccer players. They've got, like, other people from the Olympics. They've got fucking, uh, who else do they have? They, they've got fucking things for, like, people that like watching streamers. they got fucking Cypher BK, Ninja, Booga. Like, they've got all these fucking things that, like, up appeals to, like, everyone. Like, it's crazy to me. Rick and Morty. Like, fucking Marvel. Like, they, they have shit in this for, like, literally everyone. Like, it's such a, it's such a cool thing. And also, like, I didn't even talk about gaming icons, too. Like, You've got fucking Master Chief. You've got Doom Guy, uh, Geralt. Like, there's so many fucking things in this game. It, it's crazy. It's such a. It really is like a pretty cool collab game. Like, I would say it like kind of rivals Smash Bros. In the sense of like having like a huge roster of like characters all coming together for a fucking like fun experience. I would say. Like. Yeah, I I, I agree with that, but I, I do think that you don't necessarily get the sense of immersion that you get with Smash. Like I do get. Well, yeah. Saying, but yeah. Really sense of like that sense of like immersion, except when they have like those events, like where like you also get like, you know, like you're playing the game and like there's like Goku's Kamehameha like in the game as well. Like you kind of get that nice sense of immersion and shit like that. But, no, I do agree. Like I do think that like the pros of Fortnite definitely outweigh because I think the only like quote-unquote cons of Fortnite are the people who take it overly seriously or just hate on it because that's just what you do. Yeah, like... You know, like, no, like, there was a period when hate on Fortnite was kind of valid, bro. But now I feel like... Like, like come on, like... Well, actually, a, I do want to talk about that. Call me a meat rider, bro. Call me a meat rider, but, like, this new season is, like... Like I, I know, I know we're talking about like kind of like I, we're talking about Fortnite in like a broader sense, but this this new season especially, bro. Like this shit like brings back some of like the honestly like some new mechanics and also some old fucking gems, bro. From like a few, like, you know, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it, dude, it's a fun yeah. season. But I want I want to talk about that way you just pretty much said like how it was like there was a period of time where it was cool to hate on Fortnite. Like, why do you guys think that was? Like, what do you think really like kind of provoked dude. that whole like? Yeah, it's we TikTok, hate Fortnite. Bro. Or it was um, or no, maybe not TikTok, but like the, like the like the TikTok kids, bro. It was like it was like the fucking people that played it, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like it was like annoying people, and that and that was when like there was no build, so like everyone was like, oh, is this a game for sweats, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember when I was in middle school. I mean, I mean, obviously, like Gunner, you were in middle school too with me, but yeah. I remember one of the big things from what I remember is, like, people were comparing, like, it was, like, a whole thing of, like, Fortnite versus Minecraft, when they were, like, two completely oh, different shit. games. Oh, shit. Yeah. Like, like, do you remember that? Yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. I think, ultimately, the thing that made Fortnite, like, cringe to people was the fact that a bunch of little kids would play it, which, like, I don't really know why it's a reason to hate a game when there's literally, like, every fucking game. Like, like I, I know there's emotes and shit, and, like, yeah, Fortnite has, like, more of, like, a cartoony kind of like style but like i don't know guys is that really a valid reason to hate the game like like dude if you look at minecraft fans nowadays like nowadays like oh my god dude the fucking uh, i'm not gonna say names i think we all know who i'm talking about here 
But, like, those kinds of fucking people, like, I feel like those kinds of people for me have, like, made Minecraft kind of cringe, if anything. Like, but that doesn't make me hate Minecraft as a game. Like, yeah, I haven't played it as much lately, but, like, is that, like, the reason why I don't play it? Because of these fucking, like, cringe, like, kids in, like, middle school and shit that, like, aspire to, like, kind of, like, they just like that content, right? Like, no, I would say it's just, like, I've kind of grown out of it. You know, we all grow out of things, or, like, it, it happens, you know. But, like, a Fortnite, it's not like Fortnite was, like, an old game at the time. Like, Fortnite was still relatively new. Like, we're, like, we're talking about maybe, like, a year or two of, like, Fortnite being out. This is when people were still, like, hating on it and shit. Like, I don't know. I just, I for me, I feel like it's kind of cringe that people are hating on the game. Like, I feel like at one point I might have because I was not really enjoying the game at where it was at. Like, I think there is a one valid period of time where hating Fortnite was 100% valid. Do you know where I'm talking about? Wait, when? Surely you guys know what period of Wait, like, wait, Fortnite. I'm trying to think, bro. In fact, the fucking skin that's on this thing is actually from that season. I don't remember what season you're talking about. Because, like, I, I, I think I know... Are you talking about the, um... I don't remember what chapter... What well, Wasn't there, like, a season where, um... Like, I'm think you're talking, you're talking about, like, literally, like, right after X, right? Like, it was, like, 2, 1, or 2. No, that is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Chapter X. Oh, Chapter X itself. There's one thing in Chapter X that completely ruined the fucking game. I'm gonna keep it 100. I played X in its entirety. You don't remember the mechs? Oh, fuck. I just played better. You just played, okay, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely thought mechs were the most annoying thing in the whole fucking game. Nah, you're right, though. You're right, though. That was yeah, genuinely that's... a period where Fortnite was not that fun. In my opinion. In my opinion. Like, obviously, Liam, if you enjoyed it, W. Honestly, like, the fact that you got, like, so if you actually got some of those skins in the Battle Pass, which were actually pretty clean, and you endured the fucking pain in that season, that I respect that shit. That is, <laughs> that is W, but, like, I, I couldn't, I didn't get the fucking skin that's in the fucking, like, it, that's on screen right now, which I'm really upset because that is a really nice skin, but, like, dude, I could not enjoy Fortnite during that time. It was such a, such a non-enjoyable time. I feel that. I feel that. But, on the opposite hand, like, or on the other hand, you know what time was pretty enjoyable? Bro, season five. Chapter two, season two, and oh, and and chapter one, season five. Both of those, yeah, I would say both of those. <laughs> uh huh. Let him cook. Do, okay, well, first off, Liam, do you do you remember season five? Oh, of course. Bro, okay. that shit was that. I was like the that was like that that tw summer of twenty eighteen, bro. Like that, like uh, season four and five. That was like, like, bro, that was like some a different time period, bro. It really was. Like, yeah. See, dude. Okay. There's like, I'm like, cause I'm like, ju just one. There's like this moment of your life. Like, there's always that one summer that like you fucking remember, and it's typically like the summer. Normally, it's like the summer, um, like right after you graduate, or like it's kind of like right in the smack dab middle of high school. Cause I don't know what it is. The middle of high school is either, like, peak or fucking awful. But, dude, somewhere around those times, just always so fucking good. I'm guessing, like, 2018 would have been around that time for you guys, right? Mm-hmm. But, yeah, no, dude, I, I fucking feel that shit. I... But, yeah, no, that was fucking... Uh, let me think here. Yeah, but that, was, that was, like, the fucking desert one, right? That was, like, the... Yeah. Um, dude. Oh, uh, that was such a fucking fun season, bro. The golf carts... With Drift. Drift and uh, Ragnarok were like the Dude, big skins of that season. Yeah, bro. I still got my max out Drift. Facts, bro. That's a that's a novelty. That's a having that shit, that's a fucking novelty right there. Mm -hmm. That was an amazing season. And another thing we have to talk about with uh, Fortnite is like one of the things that Fortnite did I say did because I feel like lately they haven't been doing as good with it. 
live events. Oh, Dude, bro, yeah. The rocket launch, the fucking, uh, what else was there? There was that butterfly event. I didn't get to do that one, I don't think. But there was, like, all those live events that Fortnite did that were really insane. Like, the Fort- the fucking Travis Scott concert. Huh. The- the Marshmallow one. Like, dude. No other game up to that point had, like, done something like that. Like, it was fucking crazy. Like, Thanks. but now it is. They kind of just send you to creative mode for that shit, which kind of sucks, in my opinion. I feel like it's a lot less. That was fun. That was- like, like, the Kid Leroy concert, that was in creative mode. It wasn't in, like, normal lobbies, which... Uh, I get it. You probably have those fucking people that are like, I don't want to watch the Kid Leroy concert. I just want to fucking play my games. Like, which, first off, you're cringe. We get it, dude. You gotta sweat your ass off. Get your 15... Sorry, 15's a little bit bold. I don't think uh, little Timmy's getting 15 kills a game, <laughs> but... Um... Like, 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 you can fucking chill out for, like, five minutes to watch a concert. Like, let's be real. Like, I thought those were some of the most, like, interesting moments that, like, Fortnite had, where they just pause the game. You can't kill anyone. Like, nothing happens. Like, everyone just goes to, like, a certain area, and they just watch a fucking event. Like, I have my Rocket experience, like, on YouTube still, from when I was in the event. Like, that was such a fucking W moment, because I was so hyped. Like, dude, you can't tell me that wasn't, like, a W moment that Fortnite had right there. It was an absolute <laughs> W moment. That shit, like... And, like, you, bro, you said it, too. Like, that shit, like, that's... I, I can't... I don't really know of any other moments that they did that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like or, like, in, in other games. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe in a few, but... Yeah, I don't know another that, game yeah. that's done that. But, yeah, that, that that's, like, one thing. Um, And, like I said... Like, as I said, the Travis Scott concert, um, another fucking peak season, which I mean, I already said it, but, like, I want to talk more about it, because it's really relevant to the season we're in right now. Chapter 2, Season 2, is by far one of the best Fortnite seasons of all fucking time, and I don't think we can, like, disagree with that. Which, if you don't know which one that one is, that's one of the Spies, and Midas, and all that shit. Oh. Like... It was such a fucking amazing season. And the it came out... Not not only was it an amazing season to begin with, but it came out at the fucking, like, as fucked up as it sounds. Like, it was during COVID, but it came out at a really perfect time. Because when no one had anything to do... I remember when I was at home chilling, like, during the whole, like, quarantine shit. And I would hop on with fucking Jordan and Jack and, uh... And and Shabble and then and Gunner, I'm sure you probably hopped on. Liam, me and mm-hmm. you played at one point because I remember, I remember. I literally remember when we were fucking going around with the sicko mode in the car, like, <laughs> like dude. It's like, it's furry drive by, furry drive by, furry drive by with sicko mode. Like, dude, it was such a fucking like good season for that to happen with, because like I said, it was like it was already a good season to begin with. It was the season that had Deadpool. It had a lot of like things that were really interactive in like the in like the main menu screen, like there were so many things that were really great about that season. I love the whole like mythic weapons that like you have to go defeat the boss and then you get this really fucking busted weapon, and I think Fortnite kind of realized that like lately a lot of people have been like, yeah, we miss those old days where like there was the whole Midas shit and all that stuff, and they they said you know what. We're gonna do something that's not exactly the same, but we'll we'll still try to make it like somewhat similar. And so, Liam, I don't know if you've seen anything. Like, have you played the latest season? A little bit, yeah. Like, I I think they did a pretty good job with like making it like somewhat similar, but also very different. Cause like during that time, it was spies, and now we're on like a heist one. So, right. for me, yeah, I. I... Oh, go sorry, ahead. Go ahead. No, no, you go, you go. Yeah, I... The one thing that I like, too, and this is something that I think is probably the most, like, underrated thing about Fortnite. Um, I think that the, that the game has consistently had some of the most, like... Even though there's times where I feel like Epic is trying to constantly, like... I don't want to say one-up itself, but it's constantly trying to, like, you know, make... It, it's trying to improve a lot, like, by keeping the game fresh. But I feel like some forms of consistency are important. Like, 
I feel like they need to just take one gun and make it like remember that one I remember that one season where you could get like the scar as a common up to a legendary yeah that just needs to stay a thing like they need to pick one gun like they need to pick one ar <laughs> one shotgun one submachine gun and like like one gun of every like i don't, I don't want to say genre but like whatever like one gun of every type and like hang on to it and um like they need to have some form of consistency and also have like all these new weapons and like new forms of transportation because I think they do really good. But I remember I think it was literally last season, like the sword, like that katana that you could do like the dash attack with. That was probably my favorite form of movement ever. Yeah, that's that's another thing they also do really good at. I forgot to completely mention that, but like the weapons. Weapons and m movement itself is just so good in the game for no reason. Brick yeah. got better, bro. Because mm -hmm. it didn't used to be like that, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, dude, dude, back in the olden times when shopping carts were the only source of fucking movement on the map, dude. Mm hmm. Facts. But yeah, like. But I guess that could also be like kind of a bad thing. I mean, it really depends how you look at it. Yeah. I remember seeing that on Reddit. Like, people. Which, yeah, I know. Cringe Reddit moment, but like. Literally, I remember seeing people bitching about how season chapter four, season two, the one with like the futuristic like city theme. Um, there was way too many movement items in the game. People were like, "Oh yeah, people are having way too many like ways to escape a fight now, or like just to get into a fight too." Like that was the season that they had the swords, like you already mentioned, Liam, and there was also Titan gear, and then also there was fucking Spider Man like gloves. So, like, there was already three different types, and there might have been more. I could be totally wrong. Like, I think there might have been, like, even more than just that. But, like, I think where we're at right now is a pretty decent area, because, like, right now, um, since you guys both played it, you probably know what I'm talking about, but there's the, uh, I always forget what they're called, but they're, like, the little things you throw on the ground, and it gives you, like, a boost. I want to say they're called proximity ones but i don't think that's what they're called oh shockwave grenades yeah shockwaves yeah the shockwaves and then the other one is that like ram thing that you can just like charge up and then you just go like i think that's a pretty fair mobility because the ram thing mm -hmm. you have to wait 40 seconds for it to come back and then like the proximity ones or the uh, shockwaves um you just have to like be really smart of how you want to use them so I I think where we're at right now is pretty good, but for me like kind of like you said Liam like I really love the swords I thought the swords were really nice. I thought that Attack on Titan gear was I would say it was pretty balanced like yeah it was pretty fucking annoying when you're getting slashed in like the air by the fucking Titan gear, but if you think about it this way if someone's literally just flying around um and like they're really high up in the sky all you have to do is shoot them once and they just fall to the ground and just die of fall damage or they just take like a shit ton of damage so that is a really nice thing that fortnite considers is like balancing that kind of stuff or at least i would say it's pretty decently balanced like what would you guys say would you say like most of the movement items have been pretty balanced i think I yeah like especially like the the, the rocket ram the rocket ram, bro. That that can, like, you have like. What I'm trying, what I'm trying to say, bro. I'm trying to say like the the cooldown, bro, is like pretty, pretty long, bro. It's like what thirty seconds. Yeah, it's, it's or like thirty or forty like seconds. And yeah, bro, and that shit does damage, bro. So I feel like, like that can like go through, like, depending on how far you charge it up, it can go like through buildings and shit. So that and also when like an enemy's in the air or like when I'm in the air, it, it's already happened to me so many fucking times and it actually like pisses me off. But like, but it's fair. Um, you can get shot out of the sky very easily if the, if you have like a pretty decent aim. Like, I've knocked people out of the sky. I've got knocked out of the sky. Like, it's it's a risk and reward thing like you can you can do it at the risk of getting shot down but the reward is you get the distance or you could like i i've slammed people out of the fucking map into the storm and gotten a win from it too <laughs> like so i don't know i think fortnite is a really good job it, like they do a pretty good job at balancing their stuff 
effects. And, and like and like you said, Liam, the uh, the weapons. I feel like it's a lot different from how it used to be because back in the old times, uh, there was like there was the fucking regular AR, the one that was like the I, I want to say it was a carbine. I don't remember the exact title of what it was, but it was like the black AR, and then it turns into the scar, right? Like, and then you had and then you had the other one that turned into the FAMAS. And, like, they don't do that anymore. Like, the whole way through for rarities, it's the same gun. Like, it doesn't change to, like, a different gun. So, right. it, that I would say that's kind of nice, to be honest. Like, it's pretty much the same gun. And, like, if it's not, like, the kind of gun you like, then, I mean, I, that's kind of unfortunate. But, like, I mean, hey, they, they add a bunch of variety for those guns, too. Like, it's not just one AR. It's not just one shotgun. Like... You can choose your preference as to what you like. I, I don't know. I like that. I think I think they do a pretty good job with that. Agreed. I'm trying to think. Mm. I don't know. Would you say that your uh, across the board. Would you say your favorite like form of movement that the games ever had is? Hmm. Fuck, bro. Dude, I still think riffs are cool, bro. Like back when they first came out, like. In, um, when did they first like that was season five, bro? They came out. Yeah, right? it was season Chapter five. One, season five. Yeah, bro. Like I thought that was like so cool. Like, yeah, and I know like they're kind of dated now, bro. And like, and like, you know what I'm saying? Like they aren't as powerful as some other movement possibilities, mm. bro. I still think it's like, like they can like help you in certain situations. Like it's situational, but I still think it's cool. And they it's are nothing like correct. Sorry to cut you Crazy, off. Like, they are still in the nah, game too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I just think that like that proves my point, bro. Like that, like they're like they're they're good and like they're they're like a like a player favorite, I guess. I don't know. Cause like they're and they're like decent, bro. They're pretty good. And like, what was it? The Porter Rift, bro. When that was in the game. Oh, the fucking Porter Rift, dude. Ninja's favorite item. Mm -hmm. by, that, by that I mean I, I mean it's his least favorite I remember the clip where he literally like rage quit cause the guy fucking poured a rift in him away <laughs> crazy um but for me for mobility I would say either the I don't know I want to say either the sword the hammer or I, I don't know there's a lot of really good options for that I would. I want to keep one hundred. I stole games with that hammer that I should not have won. The ha dude, the hammer is so busted, but it was fun. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I stole countless games that I just straight up should not have won with that hammer, bro. Like there, there are times where some dude was like a just a better shot than I was, and I was like, "Oop, leaving," and then I came back and just hit him for like one twenty. I have, okay, I, I thought of another thing I want to talk about with Fortnite, and I, I think this one's a really interesting one. What do you guys think about the battle passes? Like, from where we started with, like, Chapter 2 with, like, the fucking knight theme, and then, like, you got to the Black Knight, compared to today where, like, you've got some fucking mixed things in there where it's, like, a licensed thing, or, like, you've got a TikToker in there, like, what, what do you think? Like, do you guys like that? Hmm. Cause like honestly, I mean, here, here's my I, thing, right? Actually, go ahead, go ahead. you you guys go first. You guys go first. I'll tell you mine afterwards. Okay, so I I think that I think I'm fine with it, but what what I want more than anything is if if we're <laughs> ever like okay, so with licensed songs and stuff like that specifically, if they're if Fortnite is going to have them. I want Fortnite to work on getting a, I forget what this is called, but there's essentially like this, um, so there's like music that you can use that's made by YouTube for YouTubers. And while I completely understand like that artists can't just be giving the rights to their music to Fortnite, like for streamers to use, the fact that someone can be playing the game. And while I know that like Fortnite has like the setting that you can turn off licensed music. I feel like that kind of takes away the purpose of having it in the game. 
and I'd rather not have the card, uh, the, the card. I'd rather not have the emote and the song in the game. And because Fortnite's like parodied the music well enough, like the take on me emote, they parody the music well enough that you know what's going on, but it's not copyright strike and you still get the same enjoyment out of it. So I feel like if artists want to have their music in Fortnite and you want to have like this kind of stuff in Fortnite or your dance in Fortnite, you should be willingly accepting that people are going to be using it to stream and that you should kind of be like allowing them to use it, even if that means increasing the price of the emote by a little bit. I would be okay with hmm. that. I agree with that. Get taken mm -hmm. down. That that is a really good point because I hate whenever every time I play Fortnite, and then all of a sudden I do like the fucking I don't know the fucking gritty or the fucking master puppets or Rickroll. Anyway, any one of those fucking licensed emotes. I hate the fact when I do it and then I'm like, oh shit, I don't have the thing muted. Like, boom, there you go. There goes your stream or something like. Yeah. Cause, all because they have it in the game, and, like, e even though, like, it should literally be, like, yeah, you get a pass for it, because it's only, like, a few seconds, like, I think it's so fucking dumb, like, I, they, like you said, they should just make it, like, if it's more expensive for it, and, but you don't get, like, in trouble for it, I think that's perfectly fine, I think the people that aren't streamers are gonna be, like, a little bit pissed, but, like, I the think- The content creators, they, like, is different. Yeah, yeah like, like- Come on, like, Fortnite knows it has a large, like, streamer base. Like, dude, every other game I get into, there's a fucking TTV. Like, if that doesn't say enough, like, come on, Fortnite. Like, dude, we can definitely, like, we can go without having, like, the whole thing where you can just get copyright striked or something, like, all because of that. Like, I, I don't know. I, I agree with you, Liam. Like. Yeah, I got fucking sometimes, I guess. But what what about you, Gunner? What are your thoughts on like copyright or like or not copyright, but like license shit in like battle passes? Like like I don't know if I explain it right enough, but like I mean shit like when they have like Deadpool or like Optimus Prime, Rick and Morty, like shit like that in the battle pass. Like what, like what do you guys think about that? Oh, that specifically. Okay, well I'll let Gunner talk about that. But I kind of like it, bro. Like I think it's cool. Like like. I don't think, like, streamers surely can't get, like, in trouble for showing, like, the Rick and Morty skin, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's mostly the music, right? Or the, yeah, yeah. Only the music is what's kind of screwing people. Yeah, so, I think it's cool, to be honest with you. That, um, that there's, like, fucking, like, Rick and Morty, like you said, Mr. Beast, bro, LeBron, dude. There's, and, I think there's, like, and fucking, like, Neymar, bro. Isn't there a Neymar skin, too? Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro, and there's, like, 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 bro, this, like, like, I think it's so cool how there's, like, I was, like, cro like, crossed with, the, like, the real world and, like, real, like, other pop culture, like, outside of Fortnite. I think that's sick. And I think it's, that's, it's why, I think that, that kind of goes, make, it's why it's kind of more popular. Because it gets all of these fucking, like, collabs and shit and, like, um. I don't want to say brand deals, but you guess what? I, you get what I mean. Like lots of people like want to like lab with Fortnite and shit, and like get their get their skin in the game, bro. That's why I, like I'm thinking like, when are they gonna put like the Phase members in? <laughs> when are Fortnite, they gonna put dude? Phase like, Rug in the we game? We need dude? we need Phase Rug, uh, dude. For Epic Games, if you're watching this shit, I doubt it. But if you are, dude, reach out to Phase, bro. Get get the founding members, the OG members in the fucking Fortnite, bro. The 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 the, the not the problematic ones. Only the fucking legit ones. Like, this is off topic. Who the like, like Phase fuck it, Phase Rug dude mm -hmm. is a goat. Apex. Um, Apex. Fucking Rain. Like I don't know. People people are like kind of iffy about Rain nowadays. I think. Yeah. Oh uh, uh, fuck! What's his name? Jev. True. True. Yeah, but that see, wouldn't that be sick? That'd be pretty sick. But I don't know if they play Fortnite enough for that. Like, I think, I feel like it's yeah, still more I don't Call of Duty. Like, yeah, for sure. But we need a for, we need a Phase Dragon Brawada skin. I would buy that in a heartbeat. <laughs> Dude, the fucking, uh, uh, what's his name? The, what, what's his cousin's name? The one that, you, that has the funny name? Oh, Sherman the Vermin. <laughs> Sherman <bro>. the Vermin! <laughs> Yo! I need a Sherman skin, bro. That would be fucking crazy. But what, Holy shit. what were you going to say, Liam? 
Um, I was gonna say that I, I think that like one of my bigger things that like I really, really want, like from that like I kind of want Fortnite to like kind of I don't know if I want to say focus on is the right word here, but I, I just wish that um, that Fortnite would kind of start because this is something I just noticed. So like, there's a lot of like Star Wars skins that are in Fortnite. And they kind of prioritize, like, putting, uh, like, characters like Darth Vader or Obi-Wan and stuff like that in. And they just, like, now put in characters like the Clone Troopers and shit like that. And I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but I would much rather Fortnite prioritize characters that, like, make sense within the context of the game sooner than characters that are just more popular. Like, I don't know if it's just, like, a me having OCD kind of thing, but... Um, but I don't know, like, I would sooner buy a storm a Stormtrooper skin than I would buy a, like, Darth Vader skin because it also makes sense within the context of the game. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. I would say, and, like, see, I, I can see both sides of this, right? Because I understand this from a business pr perspective, but I also just hate it because I think it's kind of annoying. For me, I I'm going to split 50-50 on them putting, like, licensed skins in the Battle Pass. Because don't get me wrong, I think it makes for a really good, like, selling point. Like, look guys, we've got fucking Spider-Gwen in the Battle Pass. Like, you guys should go play the game. Or, like, look guys, we have, like, Rick from Rick and Morty in the Battle Pass. Like, you should play the game. But, like, at the same time, I think it kind of, like, sucks for when people, you know... Because, for example, Gwen... One is a skin that I really wish I got because I love Spider Gwen. I think she has a really cool like skin in the game, and she's just overall like a sick character from like the Spider Verse like movies. Um, I think it really sucks when, for example, like what we were talking about earlier of season X, where like it's a season that's like not as intriguing and whatnot, and like or you just don't have time, and then they put skins like that at tier one hundred, like. I think it's really frustrating because if you're not able to get that tier 100 skin, you're never going to be able to get it again. And so I'm always going to see people running the Spider Gwen skin, and I'm never going to be able to run it myself because I'm not going to ever have it. And that's one of the things I really don't like about what they do when they do that with like a licensed skin in the battle pass. Not only that, but I also feel like it kind of gives Fortnite a little bit of an excuse to be like a little bit lazier. And then they don't have to make another skin. Like, yeah, obviously they do because they have to make, like, the licensed character. But, like, I love when they do, like, an awesome, like, original, like, tier 100 skin. Like, the one from this season, the fucking vampire bat guy, I think that is an amazing tier 100 skin that's, like, not just, like, a licensed thing they can just grab from somewhere else like they did last season with um, Optimus Prime. Like... And, and, like, I still say, and then, you know, you guys can debate me on this if you want to, I think Midas is one of the best tier 100 skins of all time. And it's not because, like, he's, like, an overly designed fucking badass thing. Like, he's a really simple character. He has a really nice, slim design. He has a cool gimmick where, like, every fucking weapon he touches is golden. Like, that right there is, like, peak tier 100 skin. Because it doesn't have too much going on, and it has a cool thing with it. Like... Call me old-fashioned Fortnite, but Omega has been my favorite tier 100 skin since, like, fucking season 1, or uh, chapter 1, season 4. Yeah, I, I think Omega is also, like, a pretty good tier 100 skin, like, no matter which way you want to run him. Like, if you want to run him without the fucking armor on, like, I still think he's a good skin. He's, he doesn't have too much going on, like, he's, but he's still really simple, like, cool all-black skin with, like, the red outlines and shit. And when you have the full outline one, like, especially back then when things were not as easy to get levels, like, I never will have the lights for fucking Omega, because you had to get to, like, what was it, like, a level, like, 170 or something like that, just to get all the fucking lights on it. Like, dude, I'm never gonna have it, and I'm gonna be jealous of people that do, because they actually work their fucking ass off to get that. Like... Me. Me as fuck. <laughs> but, yeah, like... I don't know, I, I feel like they, they, I mean, like I said, I know they did it good for this season, but, like, I really just wish they didn't stop using, like, licensed skin as, like, a crutch for, like, a, a simple thing to fill up the battle pass. Like, I wish they would just keep doing, like, 
these really peak designs in the battle pass. <laughs> oh my god, excuse me. Um, I think, because I, w- I was kind of like missing, I guess I was like really missing your point. Like I was trying to think like, what's the controversy of having a licensed skin in the battle pass? Um, and yeah, now that I hear like your spider went thing, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, now I get it. Yeah, that, that's that's why I asked it. Cause like for me, like I feel like there's skins they put in the item shop that easily could be like a better version for like a tier 100 skin instead of like a licensed skin. No, I agree with that. I do think that Fortnite does need to start saving like the, the skins that they make for the battle pass and like just kind of keep. I think that we've hit a point in the game where they just need to keep rotating the store. Like I don't really think that I'm like cra- unless they have like another like collab with something. I have no cravings for like a new Fortnite skin unless it's like. A good idea for like a like a battle pass skin or something like that um i want to talk about that next by the way the fucking item shop because that's another thing i'd love to fucking go on a tangent about <laughs> real i honestly kind of would too i i think that i'm in complete agreement with you about like how it's kind of unfortunate and i think it's a good business model but i also think that it's a bad business model to have the um to have the level 100 thing because i think you are going to get more people buying the battle pass like i i can guarantee you that the most successful battle pass in the game was probably the marvel one um like the all marvel one which by the way i i'm not gonna lie i think i could really like i i would really love another one of those with the caveat that um like i think that you know how they have like those like 20 dollar packs and stuff like that like where you get like a bunch of skins or something yeah i think that you should unless previously owned the battle pass like any battle pass that you've owned or bought you should be able like in dead by daylight where you can like the com podium where you can go back to all the previous uh um challenges and stuff like that and complete them i think that you should be able to do the same so if you've bought a battle pass then you can go back and do it However, I think that if you choose to do this, it should take the pro- like, because obviously they can't- they can't just continuously allow everyone to constantly be working on every battle pass at the exact same time. So I think that what should happen is you can opt out- so like, let's say that there's a battle pass that's like currently going on that you don't really care about. Like, there's no skins that you care about or anything like that. You can go back to a previous one and work on that. But like you can only progress yourself on a single battle pass. So like if you own, if you owned one before, you can kind of like go back to it, click it, and be like, okay, I want to start working on this one again. But you don't get any progress in the current one. It does not increase your level in the current one or in any other one. Just the one that you're on. That'd be a pretty interesting concept. I never thought about that. I don't think they could do that though because of like the whole thing with the battle pass. Like I think there's like a whole thing that they could actually get sued if they do something like that. Bruh. <laughs> I could be wrong on that. I could be wrong on that. So take that with a grain of salt. I don't... The reason why I don't think they... I think that if it came to making... Oh, excuse me. Unless the contract that they signed... So, like, let's say, like, they have a contract with Sony that is for Spider-Gwen. And it's like, okay, you guys make money for this skin from here to here. Then, if it works like that, then they probably could get in trouble. But one, if it's a season of all their skins, they absolutely can't get in trouble for the battle pass stuff. But if it's one with, with um, if it's one like that, like with a a guest skin, quote unquote, like a guest skin, then mm-hmm. that could definitely happen. But um, what am I thinking here? Uh, but anyway, if they. Why did I completely lose my train of thought? Oh yeah, if it's okay, if it's a guest skin, then they could lose it because the contract could only say that they make money from this point to this point. But the other other caveat to that is that stores like my uh, skins like Miles Morales in 2099 are in the store, so they obviously have an active contract with them. Um, but I also think that just adding those skins to the store doesn't necessarily achieve anything either, because like, why would I want to go like? When someone got that skin for ten dollars and a lot of hard work, why just put a paywall there when you can just keep the hard work and just make the paywall accessible at all times? 
yeah. like you already did a wall of the battle pass that you had before. Because like whether or not you want to acknowledge it, like you could say that like oh you missed out on the opportunity, like oh you missed out, you missed the battle pass. That's on you. Like you still bought it, and it's not your fault that you didn't have time to dedicate to a video game. Like I don't think that that's actually on you for not doing that. Yeah. Because like if you if you bought if you bought a a season pass like if you bought a battle pass for the game, like you bought it like you own that battle pass and I don't necessarily think that like Fortnite should be able to like remove your ability to access it, but I feel like they should be able to remove your ability to access all or not like remove but like you should be able to choose which battle pass you kind of focus on per se. I don't really know if they ever could implement that. Or what that would even entail, but I I do think it would be really nice if Fortnite allowed you to like kind of um like do that because like also think about think about how much more th think about like the amount of play that they would get from people who never realized that there was a battle pass available to them that had like a. Like, let's say that someone, like, recently, like, literally, like, recently started playing Fortnite, like, not that long ago, and looks back and is like, yo, what's this season with, like, Drift and all that? I want this. And just plays through, buys that battle pass and just plays through all of it, but they weren't going to buy the current one. Because, like, I'm not going to buy the current one. I don't care about the current one that much. I'm Ooh. probably going to play the game, but I don't really care that, about the current one that much. That's interesting, bro, but I just don't, I don't know if they would ever do that, bro, because it's, like... It's like it's the ex the, it's exclusive, bro. Like you know. Like, yeah, because that's that's the thing that I've heard yeah. too. Like what Gunner's saying. Like I, I've yeah. I feel like I've watched a video on it, and the thing is like it's not the whole issue of like the licenses and whatnot. It's more so the issue of like they basically said like yeah you can only get it during this limited time and then if you if you don't get it unlucky, um because like for example it'd be no, I'm not saying like it would be the exact same thing. But, like, if they put it in the store, like, they could get into a fucking shit ton of trouble. Like, I don't, Oh, yeah. That I'm aware of. Like, I, I don't know if it would be the exact same scenario with that. Like, I could be totally wrong. But, like, I know I've seen, like, yeah, if they put it- if they put Battle, Cat, Battle Pass skins in the store, they're fucked. Like, they're- they're in big trouble. Because that's- that's, yeah. like, an easy fucking lawsuit right there, dude. Yeah, well, lawsuit- so- here's the thing is that okay so three steps they can make this really easy okay so step one new player terms of services yeah um, update them make it that you are not able to sue fortnite for anything that does and or can exist within the store no so if a player if a player wants to to sue for like fortnite could very easily um you know, make ground, like, make a ground with a new terms of service that essentially says that we can do whatever the fuck we want with our game, uh, so fucking shut up. That's easy. That part's super easy. Just update the user terms of services, and that's no problem whatsoever. So the lawsuit, gone out of questions. People who want to sue them because, well, I was there when this game, when this skin got unlocked, so you can't. You know, you can't do that because you made a promise to me. Fortnite does not owe anyone anything. Can I ask you That's... a question? Yes. So, so when when you say this, like, say they do put that terms of service in and like through. Now, would this apply to every battle pass after the terms of service, or would it include ones that happened before this terms of service as well? So, if I'm not, that's actually that's a bit of it. That's an interesting legal question because. I believe that if I'm not mistaken, you can put a, um, so, all right, this is, so, the best way that I know how to explain this, like, a legal example that I can literally think of that this would apply to is if Fortnite claims ownership, like, if Fortnite basically makes the argument, or, like, makes the legal bind that we own and or have partnership with these things, therefore you cannot sue us for what we do with them, that would apply to something that happens in the past, because if you, so let's say for an example, I drew 
like I drew art and like had a name, proved it was me, like it was legally mine, and then got a store later and like you know like kind of patented my own work like later in time like uh under like an actual like art name actually that's not a good example uh let's say a photographer did that a uh, loose photographer took photos had plenty of documentation to prove but did not actually get an llc until later all of your past photos are still protected so someone can't steal pictures that you took um People cannot use pictures that you took uh, in the past before you got an LLC or they're under copyright restrictions. Fortnite, if they said something that was under, like, if they basically said that you cannot, um, like, you do not have the ability to sue us for what we do with our product. I mean, obviously, legally, it would be described a completely different way. But Fortnite owns their product they yeah. it is theirs and if they defend themselves through that legally by updating the terms of service that would apply to all their things then the complicated issue would be getting the other uh like getting you know disney and all those other guys to agree oh excuse me to agree to this kind of quote unquote updated terms of service so that's that's where the hard part comes in in this is getting them to relicense all this stuff because I imagine they're on a short contract because they're not actually trying to do this. But what I'm proposing is possible. It's just a matter of whether or not they do it, which probably isn't. Although what I would say the safest option is is essentially just redropping the skin in the store with a slightly different twist. Oh, they've that done is- they've done that before. Oh, oh yeah. But like even for Spider Gwen, like, you know, they could totally just do like one, but instead of it having like the effect, they just they could probably get away with dropping the Spider Gwen skin without the end of the Spider Verse effect. Like the dotted effect that she has. They could yeah. literally probably just do that and get away with it. They maybe Which would is, be able to. What that's absolutely what's good. Like we're probably gonna get another Spider Gwen skin when uh the new movie comes out. If they do, I, I I hope they do do that, but I don't, I don't know how likely that would be. And like I like I don't know about licensed versions. Like I've definitely seen them do it with like non licensed ones. Like for example, there's the one skin called Jewels that they they've done that before with like probably two or three times now. Where like for example, there's like uh there's like one that I think you can probably still get right now. It's like a starter pack skin. Um, then there's, like, uh, two battle, or, uh, sorry, two fucking shop skins where, like, one's, like, a beach one and one's where, like, she has, like, a fucking armor set on. Like, they've done that numerous times with, like, non-licensed skins. I don't know about licensed ones. I guess Spider-Man you could make a case for because Spider-Man Miles Morales, Spider-Man, um, the fucking Fortnite, like, comic book version. Like, yeah, I guess they technically have done that before, but I wouldn't say it's, like, to the same extent that you're kind of saying. Like it's a it's a no, little no, bit I, different, but I do see what you're saying. Um, I did want to talk about one last thing at the item shop before we wrap this up here, and it, it, dude, look, I, I want to talk about like not only like just the license skins that drive me nuts, but like also just like the thirty day rotation skins that drive me nuts. Cause <laughs> like 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 listen listen hear me out like. I know, I don't know how often, like, you guys play Fortnite compared to me. Like, for me, I've been getting really fucking into Fortnite, like, these past few months. And it's really annoying when, like, every 30 days, or not even 30 days sometimes, like, literally, like, every, like, other week, they've got those fucking superhero skins in the fucking shop. Or, like, they've got the fucking, uh, I'm trying to think of another one, uh, like, like, there's a bunch of skins that they just basically just put out every 30 days. Like, there's thousands of skins in the game, and yet they choose to put out the same few ones that, like, yeah, I get it. Sometimes they do sell, like, a lot. Like, for example, those superhero skins definitely, like, a lot of sweaty tryhards run those skins. Really? But, like, like I, I feel like there's so many skins and they just choose not to use them. I know that there's a lot of seasonal ones as well. But there's, like, a lot that aren't seasonal or anything like that, and they can still put them in the shop, but they don't for some reason. Like, I hate when they do that, and, like, especially when they're just limited to, like, 
just like the daily item shop. Like, I I wish they would just bring back like whole old sets. Like, I don't know if you'll know what I'm talking about with this, but there was this set that's like I I know one of the skins is called Hyperion. I forget what the girl one is called. But it's like a bright orange one with like blue on it. And they've got like a it's it's kinda like an energy themed like skin set. Like those rarely ever come out nowadays. Like you'll see it in the daily item shop, but they don't put it in like as a bundle. Like the fucking like plague docker skins were rare for a long time. And now they're in the shop every 30 days. So that is like one nitpick I have. But the one that I more so have a nitpick with is like how huge the item shops can get. When they put, like, 30 different fucking pages of, like, crossover skins. Like, right now in the shop, I could be wrong, but I think we're at, like, 40 pages of, like, skins. Because the That's, like, overwhelming, bro. Like, like it, fuck. it's really fucking overwhelming. Let me look. Uh, okay, they changed it for today. It's not as big. But, like, it was really fucking, like, big. Um, It is really fucking big for, like, a few, like, days now. Yeah, like, like, here's the one from August 30th, which was yesterday. Um, they had a daily, which was one tab. Marvel, 13 tabs. Marvel, again, for 12 tabs. Featured, 4 tabs. J Balvin, 1 tab. Uh, John Cena, 1 tab. Last Resort, 11 tabs. Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair, 1 tab. Like, do we really need that many fucking items in the item shop now? Like, I just feel like it's so fucking overwhelming. Like, it's just, I don't know. I feel like we don't need that many. Like, I feel like 10 should be enough. And I also feel like things should not overstay their welcome. Like, for example, fucking, I, I think of JJK, it made sense why they were in there for so long. Because the fucking, like, event was going on where they had the mini battle pass and they had the fucking, like, items in the actual game. Like, that makes sense why that's in there for a while. Marvel being an item shop for... Let me see how many days this is. It, they got removed for tonight. But they were in there for one. Two. Three. Let's keep going. Four. Five. Six. Seven. We're at a fucking week now. It, I, I think it was at least like 10 or 12 days. I'm not going to keep scrolling because it's just going to be so many days. Like... Real. Point being made, we don't need these fucking skins in the item shop for that long. Like, if you don't get it by, like, the third or fourth day, that's kind of on you. Like, you have more than enough time. And I get it. Like, yeah, they don't fucking always post, like, the item shop anywhere. But, like, if you're really that much into the game, then you should just be following, like, a fucking account that, like, shows what's in the item shop at that point. Like, I mean, it's also, like, let's not act like there was any new Marvel skins that literally just got added. Exactly. Now, I mean, you know, they're, they've are they literally only been, uh, like, they've been in rotation so many times over the past year. I mean, they're probably, like, those Marvel skins are probably in, like, for two weeks of the, like, for the entire month. I'm pretty okay. sure, I if I read this right... Captain America is the skin that's been in the item shop the most amount of times at, like, a hundred plus times. Like, it's insane. It really is. Especially considering some skins have only been in the item shop for, like, a day or two. Depending right. on how, like, how long ago they came out. Right. And it also, it also, like, really doesn't help that, well, one, like, Captain America goes in during, like, whenever the hell they drop they're like oh here's every marvel skin which i'm glad that like when they do drop marvel they're just like here's just like all of them like because I, I it would be i could get how it would be annoying if you wanted a specific one and you had to like wait for like all the marvel rotations to happen um i could get how that would be a, a little upsetting but i also think that like we've hit a point in fortnite where it, the the shop skins like they could just start making like those pre-made packs of three like there is a pre-made marvel pack like it's where you get taskmaster black panther and captain marvel from i think yeah um like just make those packs with already existing skins and start rotating them like make like an x-force pack make a make a deadpool like the raven pool and cuddle pool or whatever the panda the the bear pool or whatever 
like make that a combo pack make some combo packs yeah. you already have it with thor and uh jane foster just do it with more yeah or like or even at this point like it, it shouldn't even be in the fucking rotation like if they want to put it in so many times like why not just make it a thing that's just like here's a little tab you can click and then you can just go down and just decide what marvel skin you want because like if they're gonna bring it back so many times what's the point of just like why not just have like a little fucking thing in the corner that says marvel skins superhero skins like and when i say superhero skins i mean the yeah. Fortnite ones like even though the dc skins get hella neglected compared to the marvel ones yeah like dude there's so many fucking good skins that are in fortnite that are like non-licensed skins and they just get fucking overshadowed because for some reason Fortnite decides, yeah, we need 25 fucking tabs of Marvel that need to be in here for like three fucking weeks. Like, come on. It's so ridiculous. And yeah, I get it. After a while, they do put it towards the bottom, but it's still like a lot of stuff that you could possibly be overshadowing. Like, come on. But you want to know, you want to know what, what I want to see Fortnite collab with more often? What? I've been seeing this, and I'm like, this is a really cool concept, but I just don't think they've executed it very well yet. And I, I've seen them, like, collab with, uh, like, clothing brands. Like, they'll collab with Nike and shit like oh, that. Oh, shit. And I, I would love for them to do that and give the, um, give the art, like, not the artist, but, like, if they collab with Adidas... Do collab with Adidas and give Adidas complete creative liberty. I would love to see what Adidas, like how Adidas would model a Fortnite character. <laughs> I think they did already do that, didn't they? Well, yeah, they did it with Nike, but they made like so it wasn't like even like a. I I'm not gonna lie. I think that like a dude wearing all Nike could go cool, like could go really crazy, but like it was just like this weird like robotic fucking thing that had the Nike logo on it, and I'm like, okay. I guess. Like, I don't know. I feel like there's, like, potential there. Like, there's potential here with, like, a collab shit. And they kind of just fuck it up. Because I feel like some of the coolest Fortnite skins are, like, the people who are just dripped out the hardest. Yeah. I, uh... I, I, I... The one thing I will give Fortnite to when it comes to skins also is, uh... I really like the fact that they do work with a lot of, um, what is it? They, they work with a lot of artists in the community and they put their skins in the game. Like, I, I know that, that is, that is very base of them. Like, like, you know, the aura skin, the one with like the backwards hat and like, she's got like the, I forget what they're called, but like, I, I don't want to say ponytails. It's like the little fucking two things. Are in, anyway, like. There's a bunch of skins in the game that they have that are... Actually, no. A big one that I can think of is Mousel's. Mousel's is a fan-made skin. I think... Mousel's! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, Mousel's is a fan-made skin. And it's yeah. become a staple of the series. And I think it's really fucking cool that Mousel's came from, like, an actual, like, person that plays the game. I don't know. I think it's really cool. Like, I think it's one of the best things Fortnite does is, like, they engage a lot with the community. And, like, they also just, like... I would say they listen to com the, to the community for the most part, and I know there has been a bit of like hacker issues somewhat recently. Like I don't know how much you guys have heard about it, but like there has been some, and uh, mm. but they they pretty much for the most part I would say are pretty good at listening to community feedback. That is one of the strong suits I will give Fortnite, mm. but. Anyway, um, I don't know if there's anything else you guys want to add, but we have officially hit the hour mark. So, what do you guys think? I mean, I, I think we've covered a lot of st like the good and the like the good stuff, the awesome stuff, the stuff that could be worked on. I guess you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Yeah. All right, guys. Then we'll probably wrap it up here for today. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to drop a like. Comment down below what your favorite thing and least favorite thing about Fortnite is, because I'm pretty curious. Fortnite is a pretty good game, I would say, for the most part. And, you know, I, I feel like it's had its ups, it's had its downs. But at the end of the day, I still think it's a pretty fun game to play with friends. Um, but with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Keep it virtual. Peace. Peace. Bye.
Dig the pig.